Hey everyone, Mike Sinclair with Table Talk. This table is nothing new. You may have seen it before. It's the Fast Set DJ slash Musician table. It's really easy to set up. It's got an X stand design to it. You just kind of start one of the legs, it drops down. You've got two handles that you squeeze and you can adjust it to, I believe, three different heights. This is a great table. Absolutely love this table. I've used it for many things before getting into facades and DJ consoles and different setups for receptions, I would use this as a reception table. It's three and a half feet wide by two feet long, or no, 18 inches actually. It's 18 inches this way, three and a half feet that way, and again, three different height adjustments. I forget exactly what they are. Now, I am not gonna be using this table any longer, and it's kind of a bittersweet thing because I really do like it a lot. After using it for receptions, I moved it over to my ceremony setup and I would use, I'd set up a laptop and different things on this table, having my speaker next to it, worked great for that. Well, then I discovered a couple of different ways of doing ceremonies and this was no longer needed there. Then I moved it on to my utility table that I will put behind my Max booth and I'd be able to, I got a cloth made for it. Real quick side note, the cloth is made by uh, Premier Linens. If you Google Premier Linens, they do uh, various styles of cloths. They'll do custom sizes. They'll do four-sided, three-sided, four-sided with a slit if you want to be able to get in on one side easier. Uh, they do great work. I use the poly spun material when I order from uh, Premier Linens. Also, a side note, the fast set case that you can buy for this table, I don't recommend, uh, at least not in my experience. It was extremely tight trying to put this table into that bag. I mean, it was like performing brain surgery or something, rocket science or whatever. And the first time I, I finally got it as close as I could and I got the zipper around and the zipper handle snapped right off. First time using it, so I wasn't impressed with that bag. I bought a custom bag from a company called Studio Slips. And as you can see, I have a little bit of an addiction to them. Check this out. So yeah, probably an addiction. Maybe there's a group I can join. Ladies and gentlemen, my name's Mike and I'm addicted to studio slips. You're supposed to go, hi Mike. Okay, anyway, so I was gonna use this table behind my setup to stuff some things underneath and use as a table to eat because as you know with uh, the booth, like the Max booth, you don't really wanna put anything on it. It's very clean and beautiful and you wouldn't wanna spill, <laughs> plus there's not much room. But this was gonna be a, a food table slash storage table. Problem with storage is by having the X style legs, you can't really put stuff underneath it because you've got blockage. So I'm getting rid of this table, again, bittersweet, and I'm moving on to something else, which I will show you now. Now I saw a video recently on the, you can tell this is brand new, I just bought this at Home Depot, sticker still on it. Uh, I saw a video about the uh, fold in half four foot tables. Never been a fan. I've always disliked the fold in half four feet tables. And you're saying, why would you hate them? Because the little nubs that you have to squeeze and try to adjust the legs and everything, it just seems cumbersome and a pain and just never a fan of that. Well, apparently they've redesigned it, which is really cool. So what they've done, let me give you a closer look here. They've added a nice little push button. So you push that orange button and then you can adjust the table height up and down on both sides, which is much easier than the four little nubs that you used to have to push on before. If you've used this table, you know exactly what I'm talking about. So I will be getting a custom cloth for this, and this will now be my table I sit behind me, or I might even do something where I have my max booth set up, and I might run the table along this way, kind of make an L, and I'm going to get a cloth made, and again, I can stuff my bags under this, and you know, speaker covers and things like that, and use it for my table for dinner. And with the uh, legs going straight down, plenty of room to store things underneath. I no longer have to deal with the block that is the X stand. So I'm going to miss that table a lot, but this one's going to serve its purpose. Just wanted to throw it out there. If anybody's ever used these tables and you had trouble struggling with those little push pins, the little one button, much easier to work with. All right, that's Table Talk. Have a great day. I'll talk to you next time. If you would like and subscribe, that would be awesome. I'm Mike Sinclair. Now you hear me. Now you...